right, friends and family. Thank you all for joining us during this holiday season. It's our pleasure to have you all here to celebrate Jesus' birthday. I believe the children have put together a story about the birth of Jesus. Children, do you want to take it from here? Thanks, Miss Kathy. We have all come together to put our twist on how Jesus was born. Don't worry, we stay true to the story. Nephi, you're up. You can do it, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a story of a baby named Jesus. First, an angel, Gabriel, came to a young lady named Mary. He told her that the Lord was with her and she was favored. As you can imagine, Mary was confused. Who's this angel and how is he speaking to me? And what could he mean? But the angel knew her fear and told her not to be afraid because she had favor with God. He told her she would have a baby boy and she would name him Jesus. Gabriel continued to tell her that her son will be great. He will be called the son of the most high. He will have the throne of David and his kingdom will last forever. This is a lot to take for poor little Mary. She doesn't know how this is supposed to happen. She isn't even married yet. Oh, but Gabriel knows and tells her, the Holy Spirit will come to you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. That way, the baby boy born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. He said, if you don't believe me, ask your cousin Elizabeth. She is much, 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 much older, and I visit her, and now she is pregnant when she never thought she could have a child. Look at her now, six months pregnant, with a boy to be named John. God won't fail you. Gabriel told Mary. With all this overwhelming evidence, Mary surrendered and placed herself as a servant of God and accepted the will of the Lord. Wait a second. What exactly does that mean? She finally believed what Gabriel was telling her about her baby boy and welcomed what the future would hold. Okay, I get it now. So, as the drama series of life would have it, Mary was actually engaged to a man named Joseph when she became pregnant. She told Joseph what the angel told her, but he didn't really believe her story. Joseph knew this wasn't his baby and knew he had to marry Mary because it was the law. Say that five times fast. Mary, 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 I did it! Of course you wouldn't have any problem saying it. Let's not get sidetracked. Let's not. This is finally getting juicy. So, Joseph thought that he wouldn't expose Mary's pregnancy and just quietly divorce her. Scandalous, right? God had other plans, though. While Joseph was sleeping, an angel appeared to him in his dream. The angel of the Lord said to Joseph, Don't be scared to have Mary as your wife, because the child she is carrying is a gift from the Holy Spirit. The child will be born a boy, and you will name him Jesus. See, this child will eventually save his people from sin. That's a heavy dream to have. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel said to do, and he married Mary. I don't know if I would have listened to the angel, but then again, I might be too scared not to. You make a good point. So, months later, right before the baby was to be born, the law made everyone go back to their homeland for a census. Joseph and Mary traveled from Nazareth to Bethlehem, the town of David. They wanted a place to rest that night, but all the inns were full. The only place that was available to them was the stables where the animals stayed. While in the stables, Mary gave birth to baby Jesus. She wrapped him up and placed him in a manger. What exactly is a manger? A manger is a box in a stable where horses and cattle eat from. Okay, thank you so much. In another part of town, out in the fields, shepherds are watching over their flock. An angel came to them. Of course they were terrified, which seems to be the ongoing theme around here. The angel told them not to be afraid. He brings good news that will be joyous to all people. The angel told them the Savior was born in Bethlehem and that he is the Messiah, the Lord. 
The angel told him they would know the baby because he would be wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. I couldn't imagine it'd be hard to find baby Jesus. Oh, my line? Okay. Suddenly there was a lot of angels from heaven praising God. They said, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to all men who receive him. After this, the angels went back to heaven. The shepherds decided that they would go to Bethlehem to see baby Jesus. They went on their journey and found Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. The baby was lying in a manger, just like the angel said he would be. Once the shepherds saw what the angel told them about, they spread the word, and the people were amazed at what they said. Mary treasured what they were saying about the baby and put them in her heart. The end. Well, really, it's just the beginning. Yup, you're right. The beginning of Jesus' journey to save us from our sin. Alright, you have a point, but it is the end of our little reenactment and story. And just like the shepherds, we continue to spread God's word. Especially the good news of his birth. I'm sure he was a really cute baby, just like Timmy. So, what did you guys think? Did you like it? It was really great. You all worked so well together to tell the story of how Jesus was born. I couldn't agree more. What a marvelous way to tell us of how our Savior came to our world. to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Mark chapter 16 verse 15.